morning everyone well you're gonna see this after the fact but today is July 4th for us and yes we are at the boat ramp and I don't know if you can see but these trees are not moving at all this is awesome you never have this very often up here at Lake Erie so now we are gonna try our hand at walleye fishing can we catch any today we need some we have none in our freezer so Jim's getting the boat ready. He's getting the ropes on. It's just him and I. So sometimes this can be a challenge and makes me nervous and I'm not gonna lie to you. But we're gonna go out just the two of us and we're gonna see what we can do. I'm gonna walk up here and I'm gonna show you real quick of all the trucks and trailers and all the trucks down here. That is people that they're going with someone or going on a charter and all of these and back on the back row, these are all people out fishing. Got it off the trailer, okay, just the two of us. So now I'm waiting for Jim to park the truck in the trailer. And he's got to bring our glasses. I need my water. God, I can't leave without my insulated cup. And here he comes. He has them in his hands. We're a little late getting out. It's not quite 8.30 in the morning. Um... Guess we should have got up at six. But the wind's not blowing. So, hey, look at Bessie. When that is, smoke is laying flat across the rim of that smokestack, that's when you say, if it's over the lip, keep the boat in the slip. So now it's time to get going. What a pretty noise. You got her started. I know you got to warm her up. So he can get his GPS going. Got our bags of stuff there. Got a cooler with water and iced tea. And extra ice to put in the live well when we catch them walleye. And I see that I got to snap that... Um, Right there, see that swim ladder? It needs to be snapped on. We don't need to be dragging that in the water. Now, we don't have to stop for gas because Jim did take three five-gallon cans home. We stopped on our way up, filled them up with gas that is non-ethanol um, for about 75 cents less a gallon than what they're charging out at the point. And we'll have to look on the way out to see what the gas price is last time how much was the gas price um a couple weeks ago almost six five six dollars so um yeah here we go out the channel we're not the only late people going out there's one behind us going out and there's one in front of us and here is some campers and if you watch any rv channels or camping channels those people right out there are boondocking. They do not have electric or sewer hookup or water. They are self-contained and um, yeah, I call that roughing it, but they're not roughing it too bad because they have some nice units out there, motorhomes and campers. So here's out the front of the boat boats coming in. They probably were out at 6 a.m. Hopefully they caught their limit and that's why they're coming in. Now the lake is up and we have talked to some in our campground that their boats will not fit under this bridge if they go out and can get under. If the wind changes they might not get back in to get some, you know, people rent docks. So those that are in a dock, you know, if they have a trailer convenient in here, they can take it to another marina and take the boat elsewhere to get it out. But it could be a real hassle. We are coming up on one of the marinas here that sells gas. And we did get gas here the last time and it is $4.92 a gallon. It's unleaded plus, which is non-ethanol. And um, 
we saved about 80 cents a gallon by getting it ourselves on land before we left Dayton, Ohio. Jim filled up three five-gallon cans, so he put 15 gallons in it. And we're way over a half a tank of gas in the boat. But you got to, let me ask Jim. Hey, Jim, how many gallons of gas would it actually take to fill this boat? 90, 90 gallons. Can't see it's 90 gallons. 90 gallons. Okay. So. That's what I've been told. I haven't ever tried. That's why right there is the gas gauge. And it's just a little over a half. And we put 10 gallons in. What was that? 15. Was that last weekend? Two weekend, weekend, two weekend. weekends ago, and then oh, it might have been last weekend. I can't keep our days and nights straight. Yeah, Isn't that bad? The day yesterday. Right. So oh. we we were able to take the five gallon cans, and he's got this little plastic hose thing with a shaker on the bottom that he can fill it without spilling a bunch of gas to get it in the boat. So. Here we are again. I'm gonna have to get in my seat. Boat's coming in, boat's going out. A beautiful day on the lake. Here we go, hold on. Oh, they can't see it up there, probably. Look at them. Look on top of the, along the top of the boat. We just run into them. Oh, I can't. I guess it. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see that, but um, yeah, we just ran into these. We need to see if we can go out further and get away from them. Couldn't get that fourth pole ready because what? This broke. Now explain to them why we're not keeping him. He's not 15. So he he's goes not, back. He's not, and I'm not. He's not legal, right? Yeah, and they will shrink if you take them in. Like, let's say it's 15 and a half. By the time you take it in, it's 15. So we really wanted a little over 15 so that we don't get in trouble with the Wildlife Commission. All right, you're putting it back out. And that was caught on a worm. Yep. The bugs are in my mouth. Got to get out of these gnats. Oh, got to know. What? Your mouth shut. Okay, then how am I going to record? It's going to be mute. All right, so that's positive. We just put that in. We got one. Now we got to get bigger ones, and we got to get away from the bugs. All right, Jim, between the humidity and these gnats, let's catch us some fish. We have moved, and there are a bunch of boats in front of us, so we got to get some walleye. Did this one go to the side of my side? Go to the bottom. Okay, I'm telling you. Okay, and the camera is on, so you know. You're about 76, 77 on the side. We're going to 
do the best that we can. I forgot to bring the microphone. I know you hear me over Jim, so um, let's see how it goes. He's getting the fourth pool on the back of the boat. We've got four pools trolling. Now can we catch some more fish? You saw that we got the one. See if we can catch another. See if we can catch one we can keep this time. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to show you guys what's in front of us. They look really small. They're not that far away, but there are other boats out here fishing and they're all the way. That island out there is called West Sister and there's boats everywhere. So everyone is out here fighting the gnats and fishing for Wally, Wally, Wally. Come here, Wally. On my hook, please. Big ones. Great. We've got all four pools in, as you saw. Now the wait begins and hopefully we can sit. The boat's going to go straight. It's going to do what Jim wants it to do and we catch us some walleye. And the limit per person is six and you have to, yes, have a fishing license. And we renewed those. What is today? Today's happy 4th of July. Today's happy Thursday. So Tuesday we went and renewed our fishing license because they expired like the 27th of June. Camera's on! I haven't got the net back up. Where'd it go? Oh, you put it back up. Okay. Okay, let's see if he's got something, guys. Alright. Alright. That's something. Oh, I got a baby. Show it to them. Caught two fish. One walleye that's not big enough. Is that a walleye or a perch? And here's what he caught. Yes, I'm holding a fish. This is a perch. Um, keeper or no keeper? It is eight, almost nine inches. Hey guys, this is the live well right here. diver and you can see that right there probably so that's what a dipsy diver is but it's missing the ring and we can't find them locally here up at Lake Erie so we have to order some replacements on Amazon for these that are they're still usable they might look bad but they are usable these are about $18 a piece 
Hey, it got my bait. Where'd it go? I need a worm. Get that button out. All right. <laughs> We turned all the way around. What did you just say? We turned all the way around. <laughs> what was the first word? <laughs> Were you being a potty mouth? Well, I was heading back towards the shore. Tell Heading back towards the shore, and we turn around, we're heading back out towards the island. So I guess there's fish out here. The boat's taking me to the fish. How far out of the back? 40. Jim got 
me a pull back out because we had one extra pull on the boat, but the Dipsy itself that we used is missing the ring. So let's see what happens. There's still a ton of boats out here. Something? Net? Nope, 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 no fishies. Well, whatever direction we're going, the boats are coming back. And one thing that you missed, because I couldn't get the camera on and help, we had a walleye. They it spread the hook! Tell them! They spread the hook! Right in front of us. Almost had him in. So he was a little son of a gun. He wasn't little, but he was... He was a keeper. He was a keeper, but... to turn a little bit, see if these bugs will go away. If not, Jim said we're going to be going in. Usually you deal with flies, Mike. So that's okay. We've got fly sweaters, but if I move out there, they swarm me up. Well, and for a little bit when we were going a different direction, they kind of settled down. But now that we changed directions, and I know you guys can't see it, but we're actually heading to a bunch of boats out here fishing. So evidently they know something we don't. So we were heading towards them. And now these gnats are all over us. You say, I want a shower. Yes, I want a shower. Do you want a shower? I'm ready to jump in. He's ready to jump in. I don't know if you can hear him. I'm, re I'm ready to jump in. Gosh, you can hear him, didn't you? <laughs> oh, and one other thing. I know those would say, well, are you using worm harnesses? Are you using spoons? We're using everything we got. We're using both. Um, the big fish that spit the hook right in front of us was actually on a spoon. I'm gonna bring you guys back here and I'm gonna show you this. Uh, hopefully this shows up. I won't know until I go to look at the clip. But do you see all these bugs? We just cannot deal with this. Look at the bugs swarming the net up there. It is just crazy. It's Gemma's. Worse than I'm done. Yeah, we've got to call it. We need showers. It's gross. Watch that movie, The Birds. Yeah. Oh, but God, this is what it reminds me of. But it's bugs. All right, I got to go. Oh, my God. I can't take it. I don't know if they can see them, but look. I've got to get in my seat. Up I go. Okay. Let's get the flock out of here. Oh my God. How are people dealing with this? Look at all those boats up there. I'm sure you guys can see them. It's harder for me looking through here. But look at the bugs. They're gross. I can't do it. I need a shower. We're back in the channel. There's no bugs swarming me. Now, I looked up on my phone on the way in, and there's a Marathon gas station just around the corner on Route 2 from us that sells the non-ethanol gas for $3.60 a gallon, and again, you saw $4.92 out there. So, after we get in, we get a shower, and we get all these bugs off of here, probably get the bugs off and then a shower. Guys, we just feel so grimy. You can see the back of Jim's shirt. Look at this. Look at the bugs. He's got to strip that shirt outside and shake it out and hang it outside to dry. Huh. All right, well, so now we're going in. We're gonna try this again tomorrow. So watch for the video. Hopefully we'll catch some fish then. Thanks for watching.